Hello friends, today I'm going to explain using AutoMapper how to update or add data into the database from the entity framework. So, to, first we need to configure the AutoMapper in our project. So, for that you have to uh, take the Auto map from the new get. So, since it takes time, so I already uh, complete implemented the code. I just go through it with you. So, this is where I have installed the auto mapper, and I'm using edivo.net model. So, I have configured the my database here this is the customer table which i am going to use in my in my example so i use to on dbml edmx uh, file so there i have configured my customer table using auto mapper now i will show you how to retrieve the data how to customize the data at the same time how we are going to add or update rows in the customer table so this is uh, i have created in instantiate instantiate my my db context bike store context and here i have configured auto mapper so this is the syntax once you install auto mapper so this is where you need to write code to configure the auto mapper there are there are multiple ways this is the one of the way so here i have created two classes this is customer is my db model so it will generate automatically when you create uh, edmx file this is my dt i mean dto so i will make it a dto So the structure is same except the full name here. So if you compare my uh, model, uh, customer model with the DTO, there is only one uh, extra parameter that is full name. So I will uh, when we are when I am doing the auto mapper, I will show you uh, show you how to populate this full name. So this is my DTO, and this is my data model customer db so first i have i wanted to map my my db to dto class so to map that first to, this is how we need to map there's a multiple multiple methods for different reasons but this is the simple uh, way i mean this simple example so the straight forward so to do that first we have we have there's a one method called First, we have to create map. So this is the syntax map configuration. This is the configuration class. In that configuration, in a constructor, we have, we have to pass the config. So in the, in config, first we have to write the create map. So in create map, I wanted to map from DB to DTO. So for that, first I have to define my class model class as well as dto class and here you have to define right you have to define how to fetch and add to the destination class that is dto class so for that i wanted to get the data from customer that is uh, opt map from this is the syntax please remember i want to get the customer id and to add into my customer dto this is how we need to map the each property so as i mentioned there is a one custom property which is not available in uh, uh, customer model db so if you wanted to customize some data while doing mapping so this is where you, need, you can write so i wanted to get the full name populate the full name from the first name plus last name of from my database 
so this is this how you need to map this how you can customize there is a, there are multiple ways you can do that i mean multiple options we we are having so you can utilize that and you can do you can do uh, you can map you can define here to map that this match and this is the database to dto and there is one more configuration i created from dto to customer so here i wanted i wanted to do some different way i don't want to do one to one mapping I, there is another way i want to do is suppose if if the customer id is fine in uh, bike store story context then i just want to update the details from model my dto class suppose if doesn't find that uh, customer id means that is a new customer then i wanted to create the customer i wanted to create the customer with with the customer id as zero and I add it to that my story context bike story context so what is the difference between here it is this is the new customer this is the existing customer and only difference is i am not here i am not uh, placing customer id so let's take this is the update scenario this is for adding so when we are adding a new row to the database you have to first you have to set uh, uh, that id and uh, i mean primary key to zero so that uh, uh, when the entity framework inserting uh, uh, those details so it treats that is a new customer then automatically it will create a new row new customer suppose if you don't if you are so, so here i am fetching the, suppose if you feel if it identify the customer then this is the customer details so here we are updating the details so we no need to uh, use the customer id because i uh, there is no uh, customer id, uh, id to update so we wanted to update this customer details so here i am just updating the details from my dto so these are all dto details i um, so once uh, when you are adding so once you populate the details in the destination you have to add it to the customers list when it's come to update the, this step is not required because this is indirectly uh, entity framework will treat as a update of this customer id so no need to add anything no need to add this line custom add this line and that's it this is the another map from dto to customer table customer data customer model so this is a one uh, config model mapper configuration this is another configuration once you define this mapping then you have to come here and create a class new map uh, create a class for mapper and pass it to your configuration so that is db2 model so then so this is the here you have to pass the required configuration so i wanted to map from db class to my model that's why i just add to db2 model and this uh, here i am just fetching the customer uh, first customer and after mapping this is the another syntax and map of customer dto this is the dto i wanted to fetch this uh, convert this uh, db class to my dto class so to do that you have to write this syntax and then it will come to your view model this view model you can pass to your ui layer to show that information so if so as i mentioned previously in my mapper my customer dto mapper i have the full name so 
full name as a customer full name so when i when this mapping has done when you see the view model you can see that full name with the first name plus last name let's see that in debug so output should be this is the my customer id i wanted to fetch i want so if you see that full name is debra plus burks it should be debra burk let's see that so it's already mapped let's see that how it is so if you see that full name is debra space burks that's how i have mapped here so this is the dig so another so next step is i wanted to create new customer to the database so uh, as i mentioned here if i if, if this is the my view model new customer let's stick uh, view model like new cust view model so i am let's take that view model so this is the my view model so this is where i am fetching the data from the user interface i am fetching from okay so after fetching i am just populating data forget about this you can write it over one here once you fetch this data from ui and if you pass to so here i am again mapping i am i am passing my configuration my mapper configuration that is this uh, bto2 data and database mapper so i am just initializing and inside map i am just passing my view model to my mapper custom map, customer mapper once this is done what it should is it will go this state once this is done what it will based on this view model it will identify whether it is a new customer or the updated customer if it is new customer it will try to uh, create new club create the uh, add a new class and add it to that bike customers list so what if it is existing one it just update with these details so let's see that i'll just uh, so if you said there is a customer id already available in database and city name is uh, 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 let's take that to my city. Here my is my bucket email dot com. Phone number is. So these are my uh, my details. I will let you update this one also. Okay. Five seven six eight first name. Okay. Last name. so these are my view model so when i run this and the same if i see that this customer id will get up should get updated with this details So these are the existing data at present total level is 159 rows and this is the customer id at present data let me refresh this 
you see that my it got updated with the with those details in database so so let's do another example let's try with the zero so this time it should add the, this data in into the database and stop updating So it's done. One p one fourteen fifty nine right now. So it should sixteen. So it has added these details. So it's done right. So let's try with the some different data. Uh, the C eleven. general it should add the new row again on 61 with this uh, C level present uh, that is a 60 61 and see that the C level Gmail so this how we can use auto map file to update entity framework adding and updating that Rows. Same thing you can also use delete also here. Yeah. So the most important is after map. You observe uh, so I have written after map. In after map I have written my custom logic. So here I can access my bike store context also. So this how we can write automatically uh, adding or updating or you can also add use delete options using auto map file. So this is the this is one time code and you can use the same repeatedly in different uh, places. You stop writing the same code again and again. If write auto mapper, use auto mapper so we can reuse the, this code again and again. So that is the advantage of uh, using auto mapper. I hope you understand this uh, example. And please provide your comments. Thank you. Have a nice day.